from breaking records to steering Iowa to its first national championship game and clearing all major national player of the year awards, Caitlin Clark has changed the face of women's college basketball. But the big question is, can she do the same in the grandest stage of all? Caitlin Clark has been killing it on the court since her freshman year at Iowa. But man, her junior season took things to a whole new level. Leading the Hawkeyes to their first Final Four in three decades, she made history by becoming the first player in NCAA Division I to top the nation in both scoring and assists per game. She didn't stop there, sweeping every National Player of the Year award. Now, even though Iowa took a hit with an 85-102 loss to the Tigers in the 2023 National Championship game, Caitlin had her own victory dance. She dropped a cool 30 points, smashing a 30-year record for points scored in a single NCAA tournament. And that wasn't her first rodeo, as she had earlier achieved that unique feat of back-to-back 40-point -back games during March Madness, a rarity not even seen in the history of the men's tournament. But what really put Caitlin on the map was her show-stopping performances during last year's NCAA tournament. The Hawkeyes, with her at the helm, brought in record-breaking crowds and TV viewership. In 2023, Clark owned the title of Consensus National Player of the Year, putting up impressive stats with an average of 27.8 points, 7.1 rebounds, and 8.6 assists per game. And the buzz around her performance caused ratings to skyrocket, drawing in a massive in-person audience. The Final Four game, boosted by Clark's show, hit a record 5.5 million viewers, and the championship game averaged a mind-blowing 9.9 .9 million combined viewers on ABC and ESPN2, shattering the old record. Women's basketball, often underrated compared to its male counterpart, found a game-changer in Caitlin Clark. Her incredible offensive skill set, likened to a mix of Jason Kidd and Steph Curry, brought attention to the sport. Clark's career boasts 43 30-point games, the most in the last 25 seasons, and she's the first D1 player with 3,000 points, 750 rebounds, and 750 assists. Leading an assist per game for two consecutive seasons, she consistently averages over 26 points, six boards, and seven assists each year since her freshman debut, a feat unmatched by any other woman averaging over 25-5 in a season. To add some context, Sabrina Ionescu, known for her 26 college triple doubles, lags behind with 17 games of 25 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists, placing second all time. Meanwhile, Clark boasts over 50 games with 25, 5, and 5. But Clark's impact isn't a one season wonder. It's carrying on strong into this year. Her fame has triggered a fan frenzy, with folks traveling from all corners of Iowa just to witness her skills live. On October 15, 2023, during an exhibition game against DePaul at Iowa's Kinnick Stadium, Clark pulled off a triple-double in front of a crowd of over 55,000 fans. That's believed to be the largest attendance ever for a women's basketball game, smashing the NCAA's single-session record by a whopping 26,000. This year, Iowa season tickets for the 15,056-seat Carver Hawkeye Arena sold out in a blink back in mid-August, all thanks to Clark's ability to draw new fans with her killer deep threes and mind-blowing no-look passes. But it's just not about the numbers, there's something magnetic about Clark's game. And with the news that she's gearing up for the NWA draft in 2024, there's a feeling that she's about to shake things up big time in the league if she keeps up with this elite level of play. And guess what? The 2023 WNBA regular season hit over 36 million total unique viewers across all national networks, the highest since 2008 and a 27% jump from 2022. If Clark continues pulling in crowds and shining on the court like she's done throughout her college career, this could just be the beginning of something truly special for the WNBA. Clark herself is not letting up this season and her game is on fire. She just hit 3,000 career points milestone and her scoring is reaching new heights, leading the nation with an average of 30.5 points per game. It's the third season in a row that she's upped her scoring game. Sure, her assists have taken a slight dip, but she's still 7th best in the country with 7.4 per game. But here's the real kicker. Clark's efficiency is off the charts. Her field goal percentage is at 48.7, the best in her college career, and she's launching an impressive 11.8 threes per game. 
But come on, reducing Clark to just stats doesn't do her justice. She's different, and that's the thing about her. Not many players, let alone girls, pull up from the logo, but Clark has shown she has unlimited range, and she can shoot off the dribble. And yeah, that combo of scoring and dishing out dimes leaves opposing coaches scratching their heads and fans just in awe. This season, she's closing in on Kelsey Plum's all-time scoring record, and every 30-foot three she sinks gets her closer to one of the few offensive milestones she hasn't conquered yet. If she pulls that off, she's not just making a case, she's solidifying it. Clark might just become the greatest offensive player in college history. And Clark isn't just a player, she's a national brand, and the level of play she's delivering is pulling in more eyes, and that's exactly what the WNBA needs and craves. The anticipation is building as she's slated to enter the WNBA draft in 2024, and if she indeed takes the leap, the WNBA has something truly unique in its hands.